What's up, everybody? Griever and Arlene here, and happy 2020, I think. It does feel like the past two years haven't happened, right? <laughs> yeah. No, the last two years have been very odd. But in all sincerity, happy 2022. <laughs> yes. So, we're we're back in shop. In the freezing cold. Yes, you. in the freezing cold. We have the little heater over here, but it really ain't doing too much. <laughs> uh, so, I have been wonderful enough to drive all the way down here today in the said freezing cold. Yes. Um, because we want to start the year off right, and I, as always, as we say in just about every video, we have a lot of projects in our brain, it's just getting them out of our brain. So, yeah. <laughs> for, I know for me, doing our videos at the beginning of every year kind of helps organize what we actually want to do. Plus, that's also what we do after we film this and we start organizing things. <laughs> And then completely ignore it and just do whatever. Yeah, but this year, I, I know for me now that, as I mentioned in our last video, I'm a little bit more stable <laughs> yeah. with, with, my living, uh, with my living situation, and I have a really nice crafting area now mm -hmm. instead of just a tiny, itty-bitty closet. <laughs> yes. Uh, I am really excited to get started on a lot of new projects this year. Yes. So, And hopefully one of the projects, depending on how things go in other aspects of my life, is hopefully a organization of this shop to be much more efficient fingers crossed i can hope and pray yes mind you i've been praying on that for years so yes we'll see <laughs> but yeah we have like a lot of stuff in store um some projects that fell to the wayside from last year that i did wind up actually recording but never got around to editing for whatever reason editing takes up so much time it does um, but yeah, I have also a couple of things on my docket now for 2022. Arlene has a bunch of projects and we're really, and honestly, this is probably the first time in a while that I've actually been excited about getting moving on projects. Yeah. Now, now <laughs> that we're used to the pandemic situation, I am fully vaccinated with my booster waiting yes. on when I can get my second booster <laughs> at this point. And then third and fourth. But it, we're, it, we're not getting into that. <laughs> we'll, keep, we'll keep making sure that we're staying safe, yes. obviously. Hope you are all staying safe and healthy at home. Um, I know for me, I have a lot of trips planned this year, which is mm -hmm. what my projects are revolving around. So uh, my boyfriend Chris and I are going to the premiere weekend of the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser at uh, Walt Disney World. And so the first week of March, which is just around the corner at this point, um, and part of it is just we get to essentially live like we're in the Star Wars universe, which is really awesome. And I would like, me being me, to have my own little Star Wars original character kind of costume. Um, so I scoured, obviously, the internet for reference photos. I found a pattern um, that, that I believe is supposed to be Star Wars based using the simplicity line. Um, I'll kind of go over all the details with that when we get there. So just need to buy the fabric and get started on it because, again, that's only like four weeks away. Yeah. So yeah, you'll be getting that for me and I'll make sure to give a whole review of my full vacation so, so you guys can kind of get a little sneak peek of, of what's behind the curtain mm -hmm. at Walt Disney World because they always got cool stuff and I'm so excited. Um, so there's that and then later in the year I have a wedding that I'm going to and the quote-unquote theme for all of the for obviously the bride and groom and all of the guests is to come as famous couples uh, and we decided to go as <laughs> the Dread Pirate Roberts and Princess Buttercup from Princess Bride <laughs> And I'm very, very excited for it. So I have to work on my Princess Buttercup dress. Obviously the classic red one that they go on their full mm -hmm. adventure on. Um, so that's going to be a task because I've scoured the internet for patterns for that and it doesn't exist. So I'm going to try to freeform and make my own pattern for a dress. So that'll be an interesting new, new experience for me that I'll bring you guys along. Godspeed. Thank you. <laughs> and then my last kind of big project for the year, I have everything for my harley pjs that matches my favorite uh harley figurine i have all of it ready i just need to actually put it together yeah so i want to get it off my to-do 
this side of my entire crafting area. So th those are my three major projects for the year, along with doing everything with this wonderful bag. Because yes. I know you have you have the, the longer list. Yeah, so <laughs> I have a the plethora of what at least I have on my docket is I have a kind of a series idea that I'm still in the planning stages of. I'm not going to say anything too much about it right now because, again, planning stages, and I don't want to promise something that, you know, I'm not going to cash in on. But I also do have a bunch of, I have some reviews that I was going to do last year that I put off that I'm going to be doing this year. Like, I have the Fire Rat review that I'm going to be doing. I have a the Worker Swift that I got that I'm going to be doing a review on that as well. Uh, plus a bunch of other small projects. Um, I'm going to be doing a Raven Key, and I'm going to be doing that in a Warhammer 40k theme, which I'm very excited about. I just need to get the parts for it. <laughs> Uh, I also have a couple of other, um, like, I have a prop build that I mentioned last year that I wanted to do that's also 40k themed, so I'm going to be getting to that, plus I had gotten a McFarlane figure, which is actually right here, which I did last summer, and I recorded everything, and I never actually edited it together, so I have that that is going to be released this year along with I'm going to make a nice base for it but in regards to also my nerf stuff I'm going to be doing all that stuff like projects reviews stuff like that uh, I picked up a couple of Saturns which were on sale at Walmart and I basically got it as a buy one get one free so I'm going to be working on those uh, along with a couple of other small projects and then you know probably throughout the course of the year if we have like a Saturday or something that we want to do like our little quick prop builds that we did like last year. That was honestly really fun. So no, that really was. It was kind of always spur of the moment, and we would get it done so fast. Yeah, which is insane. So, uh, but I think that's it's when we try to do smaller scale things, we have a bit more fun, but we mm -hmm. are a bit over ambitious sometimes. <laughs> yes. So I think it's good to have kind of that flow where we have both kind of projects woven into the year. Yeah, um, so I mean, Arlene's going to have a bunch of her stuff. I have a bunch of my stuff. And we also do have stuff we're going to be working on together, like with your mention of the Harley PJs. Yeah. I will obviously be helping with making the teddy bear mallet. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for to see just how we execute that, because I've been trying to figure that out in my head, and it's... That's true, because not only do we want to make it, you know, pretty darn accurate, but we also are probably going to have to make a con stick as well. Yeah. So. yeah. I'm not going to, I'm still not going to any cons. I still prefer to stay isolated in my little quarantine chamber. Um, but eventually we will need eventually, it. Eventually, <laughs> when, yes. when that time comes. If not, I'll finally have a, a nice Halloween costume yes. that I'm sure all the kids in my neighborhood would like. Yes. And... <laughs> I and mean, I'm excited to actually clean this shop. Yes, I know. It gives me anxiety, man. It I'm really sorry. does. I'm sorry. It'll get done. Yes. It will. It will. Yes. It must. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't have many trips planned. I mean, I'm fingers crossed hoping to make it to End War this year as long as it's going on because the Dart Zone Pro Tour is going on and it's supposed to end at End War. That hasn't been canceled yet, so hopefully... I'll be able to get to End War this year, and obviously, you know, local wars and stuff like that. I'm going to try and get to a little bit more uh, this year than... I mean, last year was the first time I was at two wars in, like, probably... Or I should say more than one war in probably, like, five years? Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. You only ever did really APOC, though. Yeah, I only ever really did APOC, because that was always the big one. And, you know, things started falling to the wayside around here, but... I gotta say, the NYCNO and NJNO groups have really, like, picked things up, so if we're gonna have more local stuff, I mean, I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah, that's what we have in the docket for 2022. Um, hopefully you'll be able to join us, and, I mean, thank you to everyone who wound up joining us last year, and I know, the previous a lot year. of you. Yeah, thank we, you. <laughs> yeah, the, the channel has seen a lot of growth over the last couple of years, and... I mean, honestly, we can't thank you all enough for joining us on these little adventures. It really does mean so, a lot. It really, it really does. does. So thank you very much, and hopefully welcome to all the new members or subscribers that will join us this year. <laughs> so, yeah, we, I don't think we have memberships yet. 
No, no. We again, it is a goal of ours, but that requires yeah. us making more content and yes. having you guys just provide your support just with subscription, likes, comments, all the good interactions on YouTube. It really helps to not just keep us motivated, but it just it, it gives us a, that little extra endorphin push yeah. to, to get everything done. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So. Thank you all for joining us for this video, and as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you have planned for 2020 in your shops and your Notification adventures. Notification bell. Yes. Click it. It does, it does mean quite a bit, just doing all those little interactions. Yes. So. And, oh, don't forget, if you ever want to drop us a little letter or uh, make the postman do some extra stuff, we do have a P.O. box, <laughs> which, actually, that reminds me, i got to go over and do that. Yeah, we should. <laughs> yeah. So, again, thank you all for joining us. We'll see you all next time. Okay. Later.